Hi, this is Dr. Levi here at Glendale Outpatient Surgery Center with another one of our really wonderful instructional videos. So today we'll be talking about trigger finger, also called stenosine tenosynovitis. A patient will present with one of their fingers locked in this position. This happens and occurs because the A1 pulley or the flexor tendon sheath, there's edema and fibrosis in this area, causing the tendon to be trapped under the A1 pulley and they're unable to extend the thumb completely. It'll flex down, but they cannot extend it. Now, this can occur with any of the fingers. Why people develop trigger finger, no one knows why exactly. However, we do find to be fairly common in people who have diabetes, and sometimes it can present after someone has a carpal tunnel release for some unknown reason, but it does happen. Now, how do we prevent it? I want to show you some exercise that I found to be fairly effective in my practice. So, let's start with the thumb again. If the thumb is effective and locks down like this, and they're unable to extend the thumb, I recommend that they start with light massage directly over this area. This is the area of the A1 pulley. For each finger, there's a pulley. And this is the A1 pulley in this area. To massage over this area and to bring the thumb, if the thumb is affected, up and down and to make a fist, up and down. I recommend doing this approximately three times a day for about two minutes. Very easy exercise to do, not difficult at all. Now, let's talk about treatment modalities for trigger finger or stenosine tenosynovitis. First, we start off with anti-inflammatory medication. Next, physical therapy. If those modalities don't help, acupuncture. If that doesn't help, the next thing we can consider would be an injection to the finger with a steroid. In my practice, I use Kenalog and Marcaine. Both of these work very effective. The Kenalog is a steroid and the Marcaine is the analgesic. So with that said, if the steroid injection is not effective, then the last treatment modality would be surgical intervention, which would be release of the A1 pulley. It's a very, very effective surgical procedure. It takes approximately three to five minutes to do properly and it's quite effective for most patients. Let's talk about some lifestyle change that you may want to consider if you have trigger finger or stenosine tenosynovitis. Exercise every day, stay healthy, drink more water, eat more fruits, nuts, vegetables, and grains. And of course, attempt to do those stretching exercises that I showed you at least two or three times a day. These are the things that I think can help you on your journey if you have and if you develop trigger finger or stenosine tenosynovitis.